We're going to do a quick video on stock market for beginners. If you take a look, we're logged in to the rbamresearch.com quant algorithm sheet for stocks. On this page here, you have about 190 plus stocks that our algorithms generate buy prices for every morning before 7 a.m. If you take a look right here on the right side, you'll see we have whole periods of 1, 5, and 20 days. And on the left side, we have the tickers. All of these uh, entry points that you'll see on here today are for the 31st of May only, and they expire at the end of the day. These holding periods are trading days, and basically the way this works is if you bought today at a particular price recommended on here, you would hold for one day or five days or 20, depending on the price column you selected. You would take your profits, uh, potential profits, as soon as you got them, and if you didn't get a profit, you'd close it out, worst case, one, five, or 20 days under this uh, particular sheet in front of us. So let's talk about first stock market for beginners. Obviously, the most important thing when you go to enter the stock market, especially in the beginning stages of your career, is what, what price are you going to buy? Where are you going to enter the market? You can use technical analysis, you can use fundamental analysis, or you can use some type of quantitative based uh, algorithmic driven method of entering the markets. There's nothing the matter with technical or fundamental analysis. The problem with them is they're largely an art. They take a tremendous amount of time to learn to do correctly. You can make a ton of money with them, but you have to be skilled at it, and it's very difficult and time consuming to learn. Being a fundamental anal analysis is a profession. Being a technical analysis is a profession, and so you have to dedicate those kind of resources to it. The beautiful thing about quant trading is once you have an algorithm, you can just generate your own prices by putting in the data. So you put in raw market data and the algorithm spits out a buyer or short price. Now, admittedly, getting that algorithm is uh, problematic. It can be a lot of work. But on this particular page, RBM Research has invented algorithms for stock trading. And we have the outputs listed here for you. So to give you an idea of how to get started, let's just take a look. If we look at Apple here, we can see that today there's no recommended buy price at all. Zeros are calculated by the algorithm, and the zero would mean there's no recommended price to look at today. If we go down a little bit here, we'll find something, I'm sure. If we look at Pfizer today, it's recommending you take a look at $53.35 on a one-day hold. Now, you can use a one-day, a five-day hold, or a 20-day hold for swing trading. You could use a one-day hold for day trading, although technically you're supposed to hold it until the end of... Um, the, the next trading day. So in other words, buy today, close worst case tomorrow. Um, if you don't make a profit, you would close it out worst case tomorrow. So it's not technically day trading, but a lot of times you get rallies in the same day and you can close them out and take a profit. But essentially you can use these prices for swing trading, short term trading, even intraday trading. So Pfizer recommended point to look at $53.35. That basically means if Pfizer were to hit that price today, you'd have a very high probability of making a profit, taking that trade as long as you were willing to hold it until the close of tomorrow, worst case. Let's take a look down here, Let's see what else we've got. You can see Uber here at $23.17. If we go down here for a 20-day period hold, it would be $23.57. So basically, you could pay as much as $23.57 for that stock today, according to our algorithms. And these are, again, recommended prices only. You always have to do your own research. But you could pay as much as $23.57 today and as long as you were willing to hold it uh, no longer than 20 days, that's 20 trading days, you'd have a really good probability of making a profit on that trade. Now, you may make that profit in a day or five days or 10 days, but whenever you make it, you take it. And if you don't get a profit, worst case, you, cl you close it out um, by 20 days. So that's how this basically works. You can choose uh, a one, a five, or a 20-day holding period, worst case. Here we have Barrick Gold, same thing. You could choose a five-day swing trade on Barrick Gold, get in at $20.42 if the market hit it, and take your profits as soon as you could, or get out, worst case, at the end of five trading days. And if you go down here, it's basically all the same. You have the most active stocks at the beginning, and as we go down here through these 190-plus stocks, uh, they're still very active stocks. You can see Bristol Myers Squibb. Um, these are all very active stocks. It's just the most actives are usually placed uh, at the top of the chart. Uh, you see Boston Scientific here at $40.78 on a one-day hold. Lyft, $17.42. Uh, as we get down through here, all of these stocks are very active, and you'll notice there's a ton of zeros in here today. 
normally you're going to get either a lot of buy prices, probably 75 or 80 percent of these would have a buy price, or you're going to get something like this. This is the day after the Memorial Day weekend, and after a holiday weekend like this, it's not unusual. You might get a lot of zeros, but still you can see here's Kohl's at 39.57 on a one-day hold, 41.41 on a 20-day hold. And so there's still plenty of stocks here, major stocks to trade. If you're interested in getting these every day before 7 a.m., you can go to rbamresearch.com. You can sign up for our free access. We have 190 stocks, the major Forex pairs. We cover Bitcoin for cryptos and the most liquid futures contracts. They're all free, no credit card required. They're all updated Monday through Friday before 7 a.m. Again, that's rbamresearch.com. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. Remember, everything you see on this entire website is for entertainment purposes only, and you definitely trade at your own risk.